Hello guys, my name is Kyler Bonia. Welcome if you are new with us, welcome back if you've been here before. Today we are getting ready to, I like have to get ready because I have to renew my license and I am like nervous. Also, uh, if you have been here before, um, my hair is all gone <laughs> and it's kind of like mullet like and I'm really digging it and um, yeah. I was going to film it, but, um, okay, here's the bit with that, is I was going to film it, but it took me, the only person that I wanted to cut my hair is my sister. Like, my sister has been begging to chop all my hair off for forever, and, you know, I was waiting, I've been thinking about this for a while, even prior to, like, talking to you guys about it. And I really waited to talk to my sister about it because I didn't want her to think I was crazy. And, like, I just wanted to think about it first. And then I was like, will you do this? And she was like, yeah, but not today. And, like, have you guys met me? Like, if I want it, I want it now. And then I convinced her to do it. And then we just did it. So I feel bad because I didn't film it. But it's okay. I literally love my hair like this it looks so good and it honestly feels so good it feels so me and i really love that i had short hair as a child and it was very traumatizing for me because everyone would call me a little boy but it's like this is so much different and it's hard because like i kind of wanted a masculine haircut to step away from that but i just feel great in this also like for me like hair has kind of always been the way like i've hid myself like i've always had long like i've always tried to have long hair after that just to like hide my face and like like that's also like i think i have bangs because i've like been hiding my face for so long and it's like I don't want to live that way anymore I'm like so sick and tired of living in fear and that like stems to so many other parts of my life but like I just really wanted to express that also like I really wanted like a masculine haircut in terms of how like short it was and like I get it, like, there's really no such thing as, like, masculine and feminine, it's all, like, a construct. But, like, that was the best way I could feel like I could describe it. Also, we do have a Celsius today. It's also, like, 9.30, and we have to be ready and gone by 10.30. So I'm, like, also kind of rushing, which makes me very nervous, but I think it's gonna have better time management for myself. My hardest question was kind of which foundation do we wear? But something about this It Cosmetics CC cream today is just speaking to me. So, um, she's our winner. I really do like this foundation. The only thing on me is it is a little gray. So I usually mix it with those whitening drops that I have. But again, those are running out and they're discontinued. So I'm so nervous that I'm going to run out. But I found, like, something on Amazon that's similar. So I think I'm going to get those and try them. I really like this foundation because it's like kind of thick but it also like isn't like it doesn't feel very thick on the skin but it has a lot of coverage also I think it cosmetics has like a really good brand message where like it was started by this woman who had like severe rosacea and like she created this line so that like it would hide that but also help and she was like a a news broadcaster I'm pretty sure so like she was like to the point where she like kind of didn't want to be on TV or didn't like to see herself on TV but I, I just think that's really cool I think a lot of these brands like that we have of makeup have started out in such great ways and then like capitalism buys them out like these big huge companies buy them out and then they just get really sad so, like, even Tarte, like, I don't really know exactly what her message was when she started it. But she started, like, making all these products, like, I'm pretty sure in, like, her apartment or her dorm or something like that. 
And it's like, that's really cool, you know? And it's like, once these big companies buy it out, no, none of that matters. I've never gotten my license renewed. I'm so nervous because uh, I'm officially almost 21. My birthday is in 24 days at the time of filming this, which is 23, which is so exciting. I'm literally going to be 21. And we're spending that weekend in New York City for Nicki Minaj. So, Avi, you guys are coming. I'm like blending to the gods right now. And I'm honestly praying so hard because like, like, do I think I'm going to look great? Absolutely. Always. But I'm like, this, I need to look so good. Do I need to? No. Is that the standard I'm setting for myself? Yes. Somebody else's standard, just mine. I am, speak of the devil tart, I am going in with the shape tape just in the inner corner. And then this Revolution IRL filter finish um, on the outer. If you guys like want to know what's on my face, I will have it in the description. I'm sorry, you guys know. I, I love to yap. I am such a yapper. And like, I love it. Oh, it's also my sister's boyfriend's birthday today. Which is so exciting. We're all going out to dinner and my parents are coming with all of my sister and her boyfriend's friends. So that's so exciting. It's like very much bonding. And then my parents are going on a cruise. Like, this is so bougie. The under eye. Oh, he's so banging. My under eye is, like, sometimes my biggest worry. Just because I really do not get enough sleep. I don't. I went to bed at 1 last night. 1.30 maybe. From getting my hair done. And it's, like, 9 a.m. And I have a full busy book day today. Which is, like, good. You know, it's good and bad. Also, the scariest thing about this picture is it could literally be on my license for five years. Like, it will be. That's the minimum. But, like, it could also be on my license for ten years. Like, I will tell you guys a little secret. When I got my actual physical license, I didn't realize that you had to ask for a new picture. They just put the permit picture on your license. So, the picture that I have on my physical ID, I am 16 and a half. Which is so crazy to think about. And I feel like I look like a completely different person now. And that's like also so scary. And that's another reason I was like, Courtney, you have to do this tonight. It's like, I'm getting my ID picture in the morning. Like, ugh, we can't do it tomorrow. Come on, you gotta do it now. But I don't think she was that upset with me. So that's great. For bronzer, we're going into their MAC. I love this bronzer so much. I don't really use it anymore because I'm like scared I'm going to run out. But I guess that's the point. I really like this haircut as well because it really gives me a lot of face structure. Like I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I'm like, wow. Like my neckline is neck lining. Makes me be like, I have to gua sha more. But I live. I love. I breathe. Little time check. It is 9.53. So it's about 10. So we are doing so good for time. Although I still have to like pick up my outfit and like find three forms of like residency. But it's fine. This is honestly like my holy grail of blush. Is this ColourPop. And this swirled. I just love this blush so much. I'm starting to get to the point where I'm getting really nervous that A, I'm going to be late, and B, that I've never done this before. And, like, this is a really adult experience. And it's like, I made this appointment because, like, you know, I do need a new license before I turn 21. Because imagine, I'm in the city, it's my 21st birthday, and I have no ID. Just going in with this eyeshadow brush that has some leftover pigment. On my like dyed eyebrow, because that's kind of like how I've been coloring it. They are putting on the Kai lash, but I need to look at the mirror, so you'll see it. We are gonna get dressed and then I'll be right back. Outfit is on, we are dressed. I am beyond proud of myself right now. I feel like I'm doing so good on time. Setting spray. 
in person i look so flawless which i know is so hard to achieve so i'm hoping on camera i look just as flawless i think i'm gonna go with this lipstick which is an la colors one it matches the color of my lip basically um this is my vintage watch um it is a timex with one of the ones with the diamonds on the top um, they don't work. I have a vintage watch collection and none of them work. And, um, they're all from my great-grandma when she passed away last, not even last year, last month, a couple months ago. So, that's my bit. I also love this bracelet. It's just like a K, but I can't put it on by myself because it's a little clasp. So I do struggle with that. So let me know if you guys have any tips for putting on bracelets yourself without anyone else today's just feeling like a fun earrings kind of day and i'm just gonna go for it with the pink with these like hot pink stars and i'm praying as soon as i take this headband out of my hair my hair is gonna be good to go because it's literally 10 14 which means i have 14 minutes to leave and leaving at 10 30 is what's getting me there on time I was a little nervous to wear this shirt. I thrifted this shirt at um, a Goodwill. I also don't know how long this takes. Also, I did not realize it cost money to rent <laughs> your license. I had to stop by my parents' house to um, get my birth certificate yesterday, just in case I need it. And um, they were like, yeah, it's like 60 bucks. And I was like, it's like 60 bucks? I was like, what? Do I think this looks kind of crazy? Yeah. Honestly, but I also, like, don't care. So, um, we are gonna go to get my picture taken. And I will, I'll show you guys the picture. I think you guys would like that. But I love you, and I will see you guys later. I have been home from getting my picture taken today. And I wanted to show you guys how cute this is. This is my picture, and I am so proud of it. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.